And so when the armed men were returning from Gap or Okaishi, they went after William O. And William O escaped from the Christian bomb and went to sojourn in Dutch Accra. And you can find this thing in C.C. Randolph's book, 1895, The History of the Gold Coast and Asante, page 326-328. In Accra, he sought refuge from Manchani Yaute at Nujose. Ni Yaute asked the Asre Mancha to assist him with a place to stay, but Ni Asre could not find him a place. Then he called the Bese Wekunupa by name Ni Akwete Krobosaki. The Bese head of family gave an assistance to William O. And he provided him a place that we call today Oguma. It is based on this record. Agbese the the Bese and Kolek were priests, claimed to own large stretch of land covering Atimota, Legon, and its environs. William Ogu was given permission to farm on the portion of the land. In 1922, when the colonial administration expressed interest in acquiring land for the Atimota College, the sons of William Ogu got wind of it and quickly went to see the Gbese Manche and the Kolev way priest. They gave an authority note to negotiate on their behalf, and everything we are saying here is documented. The Ogus stated an estimate of 4,000 that they wished to claim, but they were given 2,000 pounds. Instead of taking the monies to the Bessie Manche and the Kolewe priest, as he was mandated to do, as clandestine as he has been, his children has, he has been and his children has been till today, he kept all the money and only gave the Bessie Manche and the Kolewe priest 100 pounds and threatened to kill anybody who comes to collect the remainder of the money. While all this was ongoing, Osu was not aware that government had acquired their land for the construction of the Achimota College. And monies had been taken by the wrong people. Not until in 1927, when government again expressed interest in the land for the, for the Achimota extension, that is the land we are talking about today. This time, Osu heard about it. And when negotiations were far advanced and had to quickly, also went into it, but had to quickly accept the settlement, though they disputed the claim of the old family, the Bese and the Kolewe and the Okue family. The settlement was done on 29 October 1930. And it will interest you to know that the very person who represented Osu in this negotiation was my great great grandfather. So I speak on this matter with authority. James Adam, alias Abidekwa, who gave birth to my great-grandfather, Robert Akweyadoti, who gave birth to my grandfather, Moses Akweyadoti, who gave birth to my father, Ni Akwe Oklemekuku, who gave birth to me, Ni Terno Asigente, please hear me. The document the always presented was a grant supposedly given them by the Gamashi Manje in 1854. They supported the grant document with a survey plan prepared by W.F. Matthew in 26 October 1920. The Osu people disputed this claim, but only left the proof to tie. During the 1946 acquisition of land for the University College, 15 claimants made claims. 
Among them were the old family, the Besseman chief, the Kole Way priest, and the Dosuma chief, and the Lama chief, etc. During the proceedings and addresses, the following came out. It was only the Owu family among all the people claiming ownership that produced this time, produced a grant, and they claimed the grant was given them by 1862. Meanwhile, they had already said in 1922 that they had a grant, and in 1927 they had a grant all given them in 1954, 1854. But this time, they claimed the grant was given them the same grant, a change date. This time, and if you if you be careful, you see they are banding some things about in the media. That's the grant, 1862. They presented an exhibit 59, which you have all of them, in which for the first time they now define the acreage of the grant given them by Gamashi Manche. And it will interest you to know that the Gamashi Manja they makes reference to, and they mix the names. They claim that the grant was given them by Gamashi Manje, Taki at the time. And Taki was sworn in on 12th December 1862. Yet this same Gamashi Manja giving them a grant as far back as 1854. They presented an exhibit in which, for the first time, they now defined the acreage of the land their father by the, it was granted their father by the Gamasi Manche. And this time, they mentioned the acreage as 56 acres. The, the grant you see in the papers, that, that you see, that grant, they said it was 56 acres. And they presented this by a document which was subscribed to by three of the sons of Ogu in 1899, who at the time had become customary owners. Meanwhile, in 1922, the acquisition of the land that was taken in 1922 required 2,240 acres, yet they carried a grant worth just 56 acres to acquire a land bigger than that. When they were presenting maps for the 1946 acquisition, based on the same grant, they presented a survey map in, in 1918 covering a land 7,810 acres. Meanwhile, then, meanwhile, at the same time, they had a 1914 map which covers 6,821 acres, all from the same grant. The grant is giving birth to several different acreages. So I'm now going to the judgment. This was a judgment delivered. Therefore, during the judgment, of all the claimants, the judge was so annoyed, so furious about the claims of the oaks. And the judge makes these wonderful findings. The judge doing the judgment, and the, by um, uh, the judge's name is uh, Jackson, and he points out the following. He says, one, the Owu submitted a letter to the Commission of Lands on 12th March 1918 and attached to their claim in the 18th January 1947 that one Tete Owu says he is a son to William Owu and says that the land was given to his father in 1854 as a grant and that the Kolewe representatives were there to show their boundaries. This same Tete Kwao claimed that his father had given the Basel missions the, uh, uh, their land. He gave them the indenture as far back as 1890. Yet when he was asked to, to show his father's signature on the indenture, he could not prove it. Meanwhile, this indenture they provided was uh, 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 assented to by the Kolewe priest. So the judge says this. He said, I can only say that if such a grant 
This same grant, oh, please. If such a grant had been made to Ogu, the Ogu family, the members of the Ogu family in, nine, in 1890 appeared to be ignorant. But on 3rd November 1899, three children of the first Ogu subscribed their names to a declaration of their right in a piece of land and illustrated by a sketch plan. It said out that William Ogu was reputed to have died in 1867 and that his three sons continue in undisturbed possession from the death of William Ogu in 1867 up to the year 1896 when it was said that Otonoshi had led certain La people to occupy Onyantia village. This again affords a remarkable display of ignorance by the people between 1897 and 1896, 1867 and 1896 to declare they were in possession and yet allowed the Basel missions to get a land one fourth mile north of their village with agreement with the Konewe people. The Owus were noted in, and the judge makes this very important point, that the Owus are clandestine people. It is not my words. The judge says this. He says that the Owus were noted in 1914 and in 1918 of performing unilateral service without the other land owners standing on their boundaries to check whether they are doing the right thing. Failure and that just says this. It says that, and, and I want the, the, the media to take note of this. The judge says that failure to notify other landowners indicate to me malefide, which means an activity which is carried out either in bad faith or intention to deceive. Then in 1930, the Owus are found before her jail. That is what we are talking about. The acquisition that government claims he has given to the Owus and witnessed by Ashon Katai, the same Ashon Katai who signed the Basel mission document in 1890, which the Owus were battling out with them that it was their father who signed it, yet they could not provide their father's signature or show their father's signature on the document. He said, but this time, the land is said to have been granted to William Owu himself during the bombardment in 1840. Quickly, you know what the judge did? The judge, 1854, the judge then goes to pick um, the, the issue of the Gold Coast and Ashanti. And the judge copiously refers to them that it would not be possible. Owu who had become, who had expressed or who had exhibited treacherous character in the Christian world and had been chased out. On what basis, at what point, was he giving a grant? Then the judge says this. In conclusion, he says this. The Owus... Okay, so the judge says, the Owus evidence appeared to have been manufactured. It is not for me to say. That is the judge saying this. That all that the Owus have been doing from 1920 till today, they have no basis whatsoever. The Owus, in addition to other claimants, like the Bese Manche and the Kolewe priest, who were not successful, appealed the judgment on 30th 1st, 1952. They appealed this judgment. So somebody will ask, oh, maybe there's an appeal. They appealed this judgment on 30th January 1952, and judgment was given on 18th March 1954, dismissing outright their claim that the Owls have no inch of land anywhere in all the enclaves constituting the 1920. 1927 and 1946. In conclusion, the judgment makes it clear that the Owus have no claim whatsoever to any land within the catchment, whether granted within 1920 or 1927, Atmota and Atmota extensions, or the 1946 University College acquisition. 
my friends in the media. I think that it is clear, crystal clear, that the Ovos cannot claim to have something manufactured from space. It is only the unsuspecting people who would deal with the Ovos because they have no claim. Every document the Ovos have, we have it. And all those documents have been reputed, have been challenged. Thank you. Ni Odui myself as Ni Akwe Ukle Mekuku, are here and Ni Teno Ashige the second. We are only here to support the Osu Traditional Council. And to make it clear to all of you, we are talking about the property of Osu. So whether Osu Stu, Osu Fisherman, Osu Small Boy has every right to tell the people, the owners that are claiming to come from Osu that we have no Ogo family in Osu. Simply sit down. I'm a woman who has ni in the Clotegulon. <laughs> <laughs> Many hona, many manaka will wear jewelry. Lawrence Quist, Ben Quay, Osai, now Sai Law, Solomon Wu, Nin Wu, Keko Kome, and Meji Meni Hose, Amena Maya Hio, Usushika, Namejio, Nameha, Sumeko, Koto, Yahue, Iba High Langas, Nabana Baji, Amame Hose, Wanakai, eh. Release and I make a me kill with your men. Yes, yes, she am a say. I walk a walk a catch me. Of an infant machibo, she done machibo, a year blow for a candy more me. Nibi come a jipo, a cabe. Oh, oh, be nena to a me ben. I'm a bet, he go cry a chimota, she pon. Of an air gun me, a jalamo me be pure fine than machibo. A me jalamo di, ni o we, cool o sueo. Ne if a loco. Bemina Kawo to Pampano, Mofemo Bau Pampano, me G eighteen thirty nine Le Echose, Ka Aguesanier, the Accord Blofume, Nino Notona Babumbu, were a BNA eighteen fifty four. You are trying an issue to Kajosu, you are a domo Bessie Manchet. Woji, Ni Woji, a share. I make a call with me in the arm and I can with you. She not bought him here. Jay called with me in the arm with you. Would you need a median charm? My son, you were a not beaming clar. I feel not fake and be a fan. Jay did not call a Jay Jackson. A care of you be a jewelry jam. You were a me ben no co no co no co ye achimota a coem. No, any genuine, I can't hear your blow for me. No, why you would you fear? No judgment can be a fair, a beer. No, we be a I'm a better look, yeah. Actually, what I'm going to do.